just drove for two and a half hours. It's 8.30 in the morning. Couldn't really sleep last night. They had a four post to bed. Kept kicking my feet at the end because I couldn't stretch out. 9.30, went to bed, got up at like 3.34, couldn't get back to sleep, went for a jog. The weather was supposed to be shit, so I thought, oh, bugger it, I'll just take the, take the early bird gets the worm mentality and just try and head up here, because I had to drop the car off in Edinburgh today. About half the way in, I knew the roads were shit from yesterday, but then the rain came. It's nothing more fun than doing 70 miles on a freeway, pissing down rain with all trucks around you. It's very relaxing. But at least I'm here. I'm in Livingston, which is just outside of Edinburgh, which is just near where I've got to drop the car off. So we're kind of sweet. Near the hotel too, so... Checking the hotel about 2.33. Drop the car off at 4, get the bus back to the hotel, about 10 minutes. Then chill out, relax tonight, early morning flight tomorrow to London. So that's where we're at. Mr. Paws, he was doing well up front, and Carl, he was all buckled in. But yeah, that was intense. Nice way to end the trip on a relaxing note. But yeah, so here we're at the um, Livingston Outlet Mall. So I haven't really done like much like shopping or anything, so I'm thinking I've got. I want to get up here early today, so I've got. I'm not rushing or anything, so I might go see a movie, might go get a pair of shoes or something, I don't know. I need breakfast though, I'm so hungry. Okay, GoPro. Oh yeah, today was Friday, today's Saturday the 4th. Saturday the 4th of November, in case you're wondering. Oh, GoPro buddy. Our hotel we're staying at is across the road. We're sitting in the shopping centre car park, waiting for 2 o'clock p.m. So we can go check in, drop the bags off. And drop the car off and get the bus back. I'm bugging, man. It's been a big week. You've worn me out. Hiking, doing all the stuff, the driving. The driving kills you. The last day, if I had it over again, I probably would have spent a second night in Glasgow. The drive to Wigtown and the drive back to Wigtown, the roads were so shit. It's good to go to, but in hindsight, that one sort of really... Knocked us around a bit. Oh well. Everything else has been amazing. So it's good if I get a good night's sleep tonight. Get up early because I got to get up early anyway. So if I go to sleep at 5 o'clock. Get up at 4 or 5 tomorrow. Easy. It's 10 hours sleep. In time for the flight to London. And a big one tomorrow in London. So it's probably a good thing. Uh, see ya buddy. We'll see you when we check in. This looks like an exact replica of the one we stayed up in Glasgow. Same out thing, same everything. At least there's no thing on the bed so I can actually sleep tonight. That's us. Yeah, pretty. I'm gonna drop this car off and I'll come back to you, buddy. Hey, GoPro, buddy. Wow, we made it back. A little bit energized because I've been walking in the cold wind. So, just I thought you'd want to know what we're eating tonight for dinner. So this is us. We've got our six coated chicken mini fillets, coconut coleslaw, and flips dark chocolate coated pretzels. Pretty fancy. So we're not moving from here for the next 12 hours probably. Get everything organized and then fly to London. Yeah. All this a little shelf GoPro. Isn't that fancy? You watch me do this. Okay, that's enough go for it. I forgot to mention the drink of the evening is Port Patrick Foghorn IPA. So now you care about these things, GoPro. GoPro. Situated within the Rins of Galloway in southwest Scotland, Port Patrick, with its picturesque village and community owned harbour, stunning coastal views, and secluded coves, is the ideal place to spend a few days, whether visiting by land or sea. Now, the other thing you want to know, GoPro, I'm never going to be accused of being too fancy. It's when you realise you're staying in a shitty hotel, it doesn't even give you a fork or a spoon, 
have to use your Lucas pawpaw ointment to spoon the coleslaw into your mouth. Mm. Okay. Five star here. But you don't care about this, do you, GoPro? Oh, good morning, GoPro. How do you sleep, buddy? Oh, I was pretty good. Eight hours, feel fresh. So it's about 6 a.m. Sunday, the 4th of November. Just checked out of Arbus Budget Hotel behind me, walking across the road to the tram stop. Get the tram to the airport. There's only four stops, maybe 10 minutes. Then our flight's at 8.30, so about two and a half hours. Gives us enough time, go there, coffee, breakfast, chill out. I fly to London. It's a weird feeling. I almost feel too relaxed. I keep thinking I've forgotten something. Like I've checked everything, got everything. Maybe because like Scotland, I was like rushing, getting to different places, driving, and it's pretty intense. So something like this, just flying to London, it's almost like a bit of an end of a trip. So I'm sort of, got a few things planned, but just go cruise around really and check it out. So yeah, fly to London this morning, drop the bag off, have a little bit of a walk around, check in, try and get to the Tower of London tonight, up to this like sky bar. But if none of that happens and I'm just chilling in London somewhere, I don't really care. It's kind of cool. I did literally nothing yesterday, relaxed. Yeah. Hey, we'll talk to you later, buddy. That's us, GoPro buddy. Tram to the airport. That's the airport up there. They all look the same, don't they? I feel, um, I feel so weird. Just like cruising, flying to London for the day. But it's, um, yeah, it's kind of, I was just thinking then, I'm kind of content with everything I got done in Scotland, like I did everything I wanted to do. If I had more time, I would have spent more, like probably an extra day at each place. But yeah, got everything I wanted sort of done. Got a couple of whiskeys. Now we're off to London, so yeah, pretty relaxed. I think it'd be a different feeling if... I don't even see that, buddy. Edinburgh. Be a different feeling if like I missed out on something or if, it, or if I if there's something I wanted that I didn't get done. But yeah, let's check in and go from there, mate. 